Well, registration has opened now for level two for 2022. So we can discuss the changes in 2022 over uh, what we saw over the last uh, two years, 2020 and 2021. For quant, linear regression has had a revision and there has been an update to multiple regression. Uh, no new uh, information here, just a different presentation. So if you're using uh, 2020 and 2021 content for those two readings, you should be okay. Dropped is the last reading in quant, which was excerpts from probabilistic approaches. Uh, that has been dropped. Going into corporate finance, ESG, the reading on ESG has had a major revision. Uh, same with capital budgeting and capital structure has had a minor revision, just a sort of a repositioning of how we look at uh, decisions that are being made. Fixed income, all readings, major revision right through. Uh, alternative investments, the uh, first two readings uh, on real estate. There was one on private real estate, one on public real estate. That has been folded now into just one reading. So alternative investments has gone from four readings down to three readings because the first two are now just one. Um, portfolio management and revisions to two readings here, uh, introduction to ETFs and multi-factor models. And there's a new reading called back testing and simulation. Uh, and in the ethics section, there has been an update to the reading on uh, applications of ethical standards. And uh, that's it for the uh, changes in level two. The big one here is uh, fixed income. The second biggest uh, section of change uh, was corporate finance. Uh, the third one in terms of the amount of changes here, portfolio management, then I'd say alternative investments uh, would, uh, would be the uh, fourth one in terms of change. Some of the readings have updated end of chapter questions. Uh, I think a couple in equity have updated end of chapter questions. Uh, and all of the other readings, uh, I think, stay the same. The one that I was really hoping uh, that would get a better treatment is derivatives. I was really, really hoping uh, that they'd move away from those two readings where they are complicated for no good reason. One of the worst treatments of derivatives I've ever seen uh, is this author. Uh, I don't even read those readings. They're so, they're so poorly done. This author feels like, you know, you have to use every letter in the alphabet in your notation. Otherwise, you're just not a PhD anymore. But he is following one of the rules of, of, of PhD, which is take the simple and make it really, really complicated so people think they need you. But what a terrible presentation. I was really hoping that that would be uh, 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 major revisions in derivatives. No, it's not. So there we are.